Hey guys, it is a smorgasbord of sports out there, and I am here to help you weed through it. Today, I am bringing you five of the hottest cards from across the world of sports. My name is Jeff Wilson. By day, I invest in tech companies, and at night, I invest in sports cards. Join me on my journey to profit from the hobby we all love. Sports card investors, I'm Amber Wilson. Jeff Wilson is on vacation. He is celebrating his beautiful wife's birthday. Happy birthday, Kim. Love you. So I am here holding down the fort. And I'm going to bring you five cards this week whose value is absolutely skyrocketing from across the world of sports. Everything is happening right now. Major League Baseball season is winding down. The NFL season is winding up. The NBA playoffs are at a peak. It's hard to consume it all. Not even mentioning Stanley Cup finals and soccer and tennis and golf. If you are a sports fan, it is awesome. But it can be confusing as a sports card investor. So I'm here to give you five cards to focus on. And let's start with our fifth card, Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt is a 29-year-old first baseman for the New York Yankees. Now, Voigt actually grew up a Cardinals fan, and he was fortunate enough to be drafted by his dream team back in the 22nd round of the 2013 MLB draft. But then he was traded to the Yankees in 2018, and wearing the pinstripes has worked out pretty do well for Voigt, to say the least. Currently, he leads the league with 21 home runs, and he's ranked second in ribbies with 49. Up until Sunday's loss uh, to the Bo Sox that the Yanks had, he was a huge reason that the Yankees were on that 10-game winning streak. If he keeps up this pace, he's absolutely in that conversation for AL MVP voting. So his card to take a look at is the 2017 Tops Update PSA 10. Now, over the last seven days alone, that card is up 47% in value. If we take a look at the graph showing the last 90 days, look at that beautiful steady incline, a steep incline at that. His card over the last 90 days is up 606% in value. I mentioned the Major League Baseball season is winding down. It is almost October. If Voigt can continue this kind of production in the postseason, that card value continues to rise. Taking a look at the NFL, our fourth card to talk about today is Calvin Ridley. Now, Calvin Ridley is a 25-year-old wide receiver for the Atlanta Falcons. He was drafted in the first round of the 2018 NFL Draft. He played college ball at Bama. So far in the NFL, he's been an absolute stud. There's no other way to say it. His 2018 rookie season, he had 10 receiving touchdowns. In 2019, he had seven receiving touchdowns through two games of the 2020 season. He's given you two touchdowns in each of those games. So he's averaging two touchdowns per game. He's also averaging eight receptions per game. He's averaging almost 120 yards per game. And it is absolutely clear at this point the Calvin Ridley is the real deal. So it's probably time to start thinking about investing in his cars if you haven't already. Calvin Ridley's card to take a look at is the 2018 Prism PSA 10. Now, over the last 90 days, that card is up 310% in value. Sales from the last couple weeks alone are up significantly more than they were in the offseason. If he continues to put up numbers like this, his card could easily double in value. So he is certainly somebody to keep an eye on. Turning our attention to the NBA smorgasbord of sports, I tell you, Anthony Davis. Now, who saw that insane buzzer beater on Sunday night? I mean, he absolutely ripped the heart out of the Denver Nuggets. Through 12 games this postseason, AD has averaged almost 29 points per game, 10.7 boards, 3.9 assists, 1.4 blocks, and a steal. He's got a 57.3% field goal average. AD's rookie card started to get hot right after he signed with the Lakers. At one point in August, AD's 2012 Prism PSA 10s were selling for over $3,500 a card. Of course, the market it went through a bit of a correction period, a bit of a cooling off, so to speak, and his card came back down to earth a little bit. It seemed to level off around $1,500 in early September. 
Now his card is trending back up again. And of course, Sunday night's performance should certainly help boost that card value to over $2,000 once again. His card to highlight is the 2012 Prism PSA 10. As I mentioned, over the last seven days, that card is up 15%, just about 15% in value. Over the last 90 days, that card is up 31% in value. Now, I am guessing that the Lakers probably have a ticket to the NBA Finals. LeBron makes everybody around him better. And as great as AD is, I'm sure he's going to shine even more in those finals. Hopefully not against my heat, though. That would be the detriment for AD, hopefully, in the card value world. But even if he does play the heat, AD's card value with a finals performance is probably going to get even more attention and continue to increase even more. Anthony Davis is your third card to take a look at this week. Turning our attention back to the NFL, Josh Allen is the quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. Now, if you watched my show, The Forecast, on Sports Card Investor, and subscribe right now if you haven't already hit the subscribe button. But if you watched my show, The Forecast, which I bring to you every Thursday on this channel, then I told you that Josh Allen had a good matchup this week against my Miami Dolphins, unfortunately. The Dolphins' defense has been really disappointing to me this season. And it's supposed to have one of the best secondaries in the NFL. It's one of the most highly paid secondaries in the NFL. And Josh Allen looked like a stud against my Dolphins' defense. Many quarterbacks, of course, have been playing well through the first two weeks, but Josh Allen really stood out. The word gunslinger comes to mind. He evaded the pass rush. He completed five deep balls over 25 yards. I talked about it in the forecast. The reason that stat matters is because the longer the pass, the more flash, the more flash, the more hype, the more hype, the more card value. On Sunday, Allen set his career high for passing yards, 417 passing yards. He joined Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and Patrick Mahomes as the only quarterbacks to have at least 700 yards, six touchdowns, and zero interceptions through the first two weeks of the NFL season. So the card to highlight here is the 2018 Prism Base Raw. Now over the last seven days, that card is up about 19% in value. If we take a look at the last 90 days for Josh Allen's card, it's up about 154% in value. Now, you guys may know I host a sports radio show in Miami, and we talk a lot about the Bills because of the division, and we say we kind of think it's Josh Allen's division moving forward with the departure of Tom Brady. Josh Allen looks like the real deal, unfortunately for us down here as Dolphins fans, but Josh Allen looks like the real deal. And as more people buy into him, I expect that card value to continue to increase. Staying in the NFL, Justin Herbert is our number one card to talk about this week. He is a 22-year-old rookie quarterback for the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, Herbert was drafted sixth overall in the 2020 draft. He, of course, came out of Oregon for college. On Sunday, the Chargers starter Tyrod Taylor, he was held out. He had chest pains that gave Herbert the opportunity to start in his first NFL game ever against the Chiefs. Herbert completed 22 for 33 passes. He threw for 311 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. Now, what's the most impressive about this is that Herbert did not take any snaps with the first team offense during practice at all. And he stepped in with essentially zero notice, and he played well in his NFL debut no preseason to gel with these guys either. He was absolutely impressive. People always say Justin Herbert looks the part. He looks like an NFL quarterback, whatever the heck that means. Well, maybe he actually plays the part as well based on Sunday. Now, Justin Herbert has been regarded as the third best quarterback from that 2020 draft class. So his cards have been popular, but nowhere near as hot as Joe Burrow's or Tua Tungvaloa's cards have been. Having a performance like he did this past week, has attracted a lot of interest in his cards. And investors love to see when a young quarterback 
like Herbert is doing, actually gets out on the field and actually performs well. It makes investing in him that much easier since you've actually seen him play at the NFL level. You can see it with your own eyes, so then you can believe it. Everyone's been left speculating about Tua Tunga Valoa. Unfortunately for us down here in Miami, I think it's going to be a bit longer until you see Tua. That probably helps that attention that Justin Herbert's getting if he continues to get minutes for that Chargers team. Side note, I am saying Tua's last name properly. I know that there's a mysterious non-existent Ed in there. That's how Tua says it. I don't know, man. Ask Tua. I, I assure you, he gave us a whole dissertation on it with the Miami media, but you pronounce it Tunga Valoa. That's how you say it. I guess it's a Hawaiian thing. Anyways, back to Justin Herbert. His performance on Sunday made him look like the real deal. So he is the number one hot card skyrocketing value to keep in mind for this week. So there you have it, guys. You have five cards. I gave you NFL, I gave you MLB, and I gave you NBA. On Thursday, if you're subscribed to Sports Card Investor, and if you aren't, subscribe right now. Hit the button. Subscribe right now. If you're subscribed to Sports Card Investor, then you already know. Every Thursday, I bring you a show called The Forecast, which I will be doing this Thursday. Make sure you check it out. I'll be looking at some matchups coming up throughout the week and tell you how to look for it. You would have known about that Josh Allen card if you had watched. It was fun hanging out, guys. See you on Thursday. Thursday.